let's move on to album reviews. Uh, how are we doing for time, my friend? We have about 16 minutes left if we plan on being on time. Good Lord. God damn you, damn loud. Actually, God damn us. We just had to talk about it for an extended period. That's okay. Didn't we? That's okay. We can be efficient. We can be efficient. <laughs> let's start with uh, Hidden Mothers then. Okay. Um, Post Hardcore Scream, my band from Sheffield, the new album, Erosion Avulsion, is out on November 29th via Church Ride Records. Shout out Church Ride Records, literally. Never disappoint. Every no. every album I've ever heard from Church Road Records is always at the very least good. At the very, very least. And that is me being particularly harsh. Um the, the two albums that we're reviewing today, Sam, are, are very much not naturally within my wheelhouse. Um okay. more so for Alpef. And I'm sure you knew that. I'm I'm sure you knew that, Gavin. Yes. Um, so yes. I am. I think lean on might be a, a bit of a dissimism, but I, I'm going to kind of lead, allow, allow you to lead really most of the discussion because there's oh, compl- the, because both records focus on such a level of complexity that for me, as someone who isn't an, uh, who isn't actually a, a musician, a, a fair amount of it would have just gone over my head. Um, what I would say uh, about Hidden Mothers is that it's a very impressive listen. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I enjoy, I enjoy, I enjoy this. I don't think it's like proggy though. Like, I don't, I don't consider this a progressive record. I think, <clears throat> I think this is closer to like Svalbard than it is like, um, you know, between the buried and me. Yeah, yeah. Sorry if if I made it feel like I, I consider this a prog record. That's that wasn't my intention. I very much associate this with like post hardcore more than anything yeah, else. Yeah, absolutely. I, I I really like this though. Um, this was um this was a real pleasant surprise. I I, I want to start by saying that I, I when I first heard the first tune, Defanged, I thought that this was just going to be a hardcore record, right? Yeah, I thought yeah. it was just going to be punishing, pushing. There's a groove laid and stuff, and there's a like a simplistic breakdown at the end. Uh, I felt oh, it needs an extra gear here. You know, I like the little blended vocals, but like. Where else are we going? You know, is it just going to be kind of monotonal? You know what I mean? Um, but then as it went along, I actually found myself quite surprised um, as I was listening to it last night. The, there's a real depth here. Like yeah. Death Curl, there's like an emotive blend and it's really well put together. I think Still Sickness, the little clicks and the ethereal little clean at the start with the looping drum beat at the beginning is really nice. Transitions nicely into a into a blast beat heavy chorus, which is where the Svalbard connection came to me. That transition between the open halftime cleans and the very fast sort of Rushed metal core feels feel very reminiscent of those kind of bands. Um, I also felt like these guys just listen to like Rollo to Massey a lot because I can hear a, yeah, bit, a fair yeah. bit of that in some of this and a little bit of like Paul Bearer, just a smidge with the clean stuff. Um, but then I got a grandfather, which is a is that a country song? It like like kind of like a cascading clean. A storytelling chorus. I thought it was really, really good. And it's a sign of versatility and vulnerability. And then Violet Sun comes in, which the opening 30 seconds, I could imagine hearing on MySpace in 2008 with this sort of old metalcore style. Um, and then they they, 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 ruin it, they rotate again to this sort of um, melodic stuff underneath. But the real highlight of this is the final track, Haze. Um, yeah. Be- beautiful, clean sound genuinely gorgeous guitar work here with the with the with the vocal sort of marrying that some real dissonant minor melodies going on and it's a really enjoyable end to an album that really um i expected to be just one thing and actually as i went along the palette kind of expanded and the vulnerability and the versatility of the group really came to the fore and i found myself really sort of engaged with this um i really enjoyed this as, as a record i'm a sucker for the cleans We've talked about it before. You give me an echoey guitar and I'm just, I'm game. Like a bit of grace notes on the drums, cute little lead. And they, they seem to rotate between that verse, um, between that and the the sort of heavier metal, almost doomy sections at, at points. But overall, I think this is a really, really good post-hardcore record with just enough vulnerability in there to strike an emotive connection as well. I found this really, really good. And I hope that as many people as possible listen to this. Yeah, man. I mean, for a start, shout out Hidden Mothers, the Play Noise Fest, April 26th, 2025. Get your I actually tickets. can't. I actually can't wait. Them. I hope they play as many songs of this as possible. I hope oh, you get mate. a chance to talk to them as well. 
one thing I wanted to mention about this record, even for someone who, like I say, I'm, I'm not a musician, so some of the complexities may, um, may have gone over my head slightly, but there's a real atmosphere in this album. They use atmosphere exceptionally well and you see that right from the start of like defanged and i've got a note that it explodes into life with this kind of svalbard-esque sound so oh, it's, it's, it's not it's not it's nice that we both picked up on that same concept yeah um, yeah you get these beautiful sweeping clean riff that leads yes. into the chorus and then it will just and a lot of the album does this it, it, it's it's a kind of mind-boggling how they've managed to actually pull it off there'll be moments where out of nowhere it'll just break off into like a multi-legged kind of instrumental from from yeah. the middle of nowhere, uh, and how they've kind of pieced that together is is impressive in itself. Um, I really liked the grey. There's this because it, for a lot of a lot of the album, there's a, like a snap transition to brutality, and it's pulled off in the grey. I think at the best in the album because there's this kind of really intricate and complex opening, and then it just kind of booms into this kind of absolute fight fight riff. This is kind of shoegaze tonality that blends itself yeah. into it with this piercing pitch on the lead guitar sits really nice. Um, there's a, they use I love I love a cyclical idea. So they use the kind of cyclical idea of bringing back the technicality of the intro into the middle of the night into the middle eight, which I thought. Was pretty was pretty amazing. Um, I also made a note on grandfather because I thought it was like this really beautiful lament, which was so nicely delivered. And I wanted to make a quick shout out for Luke Scrivens, who's the vocalist. Mm -hmm. Who yeah, he does he does a great job. Yeah, chameleonic, really. Yeah, I was like double checking if there was different blokes. Yeah, yeah, I had to do that. He's, he's he, got that. He's, he's got the version where he's like throaty and raspy, yeah. and then the version where he sings with like a real clarity. And I was like, how? How he's he's very place? impressive. Absolute shout out to him. I, I, I think even for someone who I wouldn't like naturally gravitate towards this type of music, I thought this was a really impressive record that was... It's, it's a record that you do... That I felt like I had to really listen to. And I think that's the point, isn't it? Like, this is like a complex record put together. Like, the point is to sit and listen with it. Um, but there were, there were there were moments where the, the effort is 100% um, given back by the band. I think it's really thought-provoking. It's honest. It's intelligent, but a challenging listen. There's the kind of, there's an array of complex backdrops and arrangements. There's a nice little sprinkling of texture and variety and tonality though, to keep it uh, refreshing. The transitions from beauty, from beauty to brutality become less shocking as the record progress. Is uh, but never, never, they never become unimpressive. I, I, I was impressed from, with this record from minute one to the final minute. I, I thought this was a really, really impressive, beautifully put together piece of work. Completely agree. I completely agree. I, I, I found myself really, really enjoying this, and like I said, it was the versatility of it alongside, like you talk about the musicianship as well, that really sort of caught me off guard. Top, top tier record. Really enjoyed it. Just. Eight, eight out of ten sort of like bees across the board good for me